Hi everyone! Well, today's video is, you guessed it, another tarantula feeding video. So this is the 101st feeding video that I posted on my channel. So the last time the teas haven't been fed was the 100th one, which I made on January 28th. And today, we are the 17th. Now we've got a lot of new additions since the last time. So hopefully this will be a nice epic feeding video. At first, I'll give you an update on the pigs. Yeah, I gotta clean their enclosure. They like to mess it up from time to time. Here's Haley using the litter box for the very first time on camera. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna go in alphabetical order. Okay, so my Acanthoscuria broccolhursti is actually in pre-molt as we speak. So, I'm actually going to feed both my pair of Acanthus geriginicolata males, the Brazilian giant white knee. I'll start off with uh, Logan's male, since uh, I've seen his fangs and they're pretty black, so I'm sure he's ready to eat. Here Logan, he's doing super well, and then here's Derek, my male. Oh, he's so strong. Both of them, they're about the same size. Like three inches. He's a little bit bigger. Sweet. Here's an Acanthoscuria suina, the sulfur brown bird eater. A very calm, sexed female. <laughs> Just look at her. Beautiful. Okay, so Vicularia Vicularia, the pink toe. And it sucks though because I have a shortage on crickets. So I don't know if I'll feed them all today. There's my Avic. Look at that. Annabelle. She's pretty plump. Alright, here's Molly. She is in a Vicularia Leta, the Puerto Rican pink toe. Yeah, I say that she grabbed the cricket. Awesome. Now what the heck was that? Ladies are so destructive. Here's an Avicularia urticans, the giant Peru pink toe. He's like six inches. <laughs> she came to say hello to you guys. She's actually furry. Look at her. <laughs> Definitely one of my meaner ones, next to my Leda and my Versi. Ah, my A Versi color is out to say hi to us. This is my complete Ava collection, I only have four of them for now. So this is Trinity, three and a half inch female. I guess she doesn't want. Look how beautiful Aversi colors are. Not, not hungry, but well worth an update. Now moving on to my Brachypalmas now. My all the steps pair wouldn't eat in front of the camera, weren't interested in food, and I tried my old Albopolosum curly hair. Wasn't interested either. So now let's try Logan's beautiful female that he sent me. Let's see how much of an eater she is. Look at that, like a pro. That sent me nice healthy teas. Very happy. 
Here I have a sexed pair of Brachypelma erratum, the Mexican flame knee. So I have here Claire, who's my female. See if uh, she's going to eat. Nope. Okay, next one. This one is definitely going to eat. This one here is my Brachypelma Classy, the Mexican pink. My Amelia wasn't interested in eating. I believe she might be in pre molt. But this Classy never disappoints me. I named her Petunia. She's a 5 inch. Five and a half inch female. She's full grown. Well, I'm certainly not having tremendous luck in feeding my Brachy Palmas. I just fed Athena and she wasn't really interested in food. Now, I won't be able to feed Scarlet because she's in premolt. As you can see, the dark bald spot is a dead giveaway. I can't wait to see how big she's going to get. She's probably going to get like five and a half inches and he'll definitely see me uh, sex her skin when she molts hopefully this time I can catch it on camera alright so no feeding for you here's Annette my B. Vagans uh, juvenile Mexican red rump Oh, nice job. There we go. She came to say hi to us. Look how fat she's getting now. Certainly quite skittish, too. <laughs> oh, sight for sore eyes. Okay, so I have a sex pair of Brachypalma verdesi, the Mexican rose gray. So we'll feed Dr. Cossack. Who's my little male? And Kalinka, who's my female. Ooh, nice one! Oh, wow, I love her. And him too. Wow, very hungry. I gotta answer the phone call, just a sec. Here's Fantasia. She is a very beautiful female Brachypalma Vagans Cross Verdesi, the Mexican fantasy. Awesome. Perfect finale for the Rachypalmas. Yeah, so you notice her abdomen is kind of exploded. So this is why I'm going and giving her crickets. Just as a nice uh, alternative source. Sweet. Alright, here's a Kilo Brachys guanasiensis, the Chinese fawn. The heaviest Weber in my collection. Took it with no trouble. Very fast grower. Well, here's an update video of the Cithracanthus living stony, the Livingston's tarantula that I got back three years ago from a tarantula Canada as an unknown species, and Shannon picked a perfect name for her. Now, I understand why she was refusing food for the past couple of weeks. As you probably can see, her beautiful colors and other molts. That's awesome. Yeah, she looks to be around the six inch mark. She looks very fresh, so I'm not going to offer any food for her for the time being. Impressive beauty. Here's Tektite, a Cardifolus Ramsey Cuban Pygmy. This guy is a hard hitter. Hits like a ton of bricks to crickets. Oh, look at that. What a tea. 
And it's a pity, it's a very underrated tea in the collection. Tarantula Canada has loads of these and just none of none of them are being sold. Look how beautiful this is and look at the that attack. That was crazy. Here's my Ephobopus Rufescens, the Burgundy Skeleton. Hard hitting tea. Another underrated tea, just like the C. Ramsey I just featured. Growing larger now. This one here is a pretty unique invert. This is a Ethmostigmus trigonopotus, the Tanzanian blue ring centipede. Oh, look at that. I'm trying to constrict it just like a snake. Yeah, so what it does is using its legs as much as it can to grab on to the superworm. And it's using its head to bite it. Definitely the most scariest thing that I owned in my collection. <laughs> Still very spooked with centipedes, so that's why I bought this one, you know, to conquer my fear of them. That's so sweet. There we go. Enjoy your food. Nice. Love it. Okay, mature male, Eupalestris camperstratus, the pink zebra beauty. I gotta find some time to make these guys. Yeah, unlike the sea shorty I got from Santo, <laughs> this mature male loves to eat. Certainly quite long lived too. Alright, let's give my female a try. And here she is, very first tarantula that I bought from Tarantula Canada. <laughs> Look at her. Yeah, if I put that male in there, she'd probably just munch him. Okay, so I'll give another superworm later on tonight. Right now it's 5.46 in the evening. The sky is starting to darken. Okay, so here's an updated video of my camel spider, Galeodes granti, which is the Egyptian giant cellophugid. Still alive in my care, which is a good thing. Okay, so let's see if this camel spider will grab its prey. It's really shown some weakening signs. Could be that it's going to hibernation, but you can see the abdomen's really small. See, it's so lethargic. It's having a hard time catching its prey. Okay, so now on a brighter note, let's go back to the teas now. So this is my Gramisola pulchra, Brazilian black, male. almost as big as Fantasia. Okay, so let's start off with my Pulker Peas. Chaco Gold Me. This is one of my females, Peach. Here's Wendy, who is also a female. Sister of Peach. Okay, yeah, my largest Chaco wouldn't eat, so hopefully she might be in pre-molt. It's been a while since we last molted. Now let's move on to my G. Rosea. Here's Michaela. Very happy Weber for a G. Rosea. 
and she easily became a favorite of uh, the feeding videos because uh, she's actually one of my best eating rose hairs. Tella used to be, but uh, she also could be in pre-molt. I have a bunch of teeth in pre-molt, so that could be explaining why you don't see many of those in the other feeding videos. She's good. Alright, now let's try the red form. Alright, here's Morris Rose, the G. rosea red phase. Juvenile male. Very hard hitter for a rose air. Some you took it gently. Nice one. All right, next is a Haplopus species Columbia Large, the pumpkin patch. Not a problem for Kina. Hard to see, but that's pretty much your adult colors in this specimen. Now, I will have to cut this feeding video a little bit shorter than usual because I just checked in my Cricut bin and I don't have any left to feed most of the other small slings, so I'll pretty much do what I can and on Wednesday I'm going to be getting some more in. Okay, Hedascardra maculata, the Togo Starburst baboon. Definitely not going to get as, as beautiful shot as I did in the last one. But I'm going to certainly try for you guys. There we go. Nice shot. There we go. Look at the colors on the HMAC. Beautiful arboreal. Okay, Lamper Palma Valisiope, Singapore Blue. And that definitely took a while to get. But this is the one that I got from Mademoiselle, one that gave me a gift certificate a couple of years ago. It's doing well. Well, it seems, my friends, I'm going to have another Lassiodora molt pretty soon. As you can see, my El Klugi has just reached pre molt. Once again, the dark. Bald spot on the admin, just like Scarlet. Awesome. So, let's go on to my Para Hibana females. This is Daniela. Nice and crunchy. You can see she's full of hair all over her body. Here's Daisy. Not a problem for her. Another five and a half inch female. And here's Goma. Beautiful. Alright everyone, we run to a slight problem. My crickets are just too large to feed to some of my other half inch or smaller spiderlings. And I can use these ones for my larger slings and juveniles. So what I'm going to do, I am going to be making a part two to this video. So to remind myself of which tarantulas I haven't fed, I'll just mark them on my board. And when the time comes, when I get my crickets, I'll make a separate feeding video. It will be a mini one featuring the ones that haven't eaten before. Especially the, the Difficilis and the Fracta that had recently molted. I'm sure they'll be ready by that time. Okay, so let's continue on with my Lenotheli Megatheloides. And see how that one eats. Alright, let's try a Lenotheli Megatheloides. The Brazilian Diplorid, or Funnel Web. It's a Megalomorph. And these are characteristic by having a huge spinneret on the abdomen. Yeah, 
There we go. You can see these spinnerets, look how big they are. Around four inches and <laughs> look at the webbing. This is a newcomer to my collection. Megaphobema robustum, the Colombian giant red leg. <laughs> Just look at that. Oh man, I miss the days where I had an, a male. And just was awesome eater. So glad I decided to get another one. Okay, let's go ahead and give this one a little try here. Uh, this is my Monocentropus belfori, the Socotra Island blue baboon that I got from T-Soy Spiders from Germany. Let's see how my M. Belfulri eats. What a sight for sore eyes. I haven't seen this one in a long, long time. It did recently molt, so I'm not sure if it's a male or female yet. The ventral shot looks to be a little bit of a male. And the kind of the carapace is giving it away because on most M. Belfulri males, they actually have a much more darker blue to them than tan as in females. That's still a very cool specimen to own and definitely one of the most expensive ones that I own so far. Nandu chromatis, the white striped bird eater. Four and a half inch female. Here's the Oligosteri diamantinensis, the Brazilian blue dwarf beauty. That was lightning fast. Certainly very quick and the most beautiful one. Mini GBB, that's what I like to call them. Gus and Lauren's fantastic gift certificate got me a Pamphobedius ultramarinus, the Ecuadorian blue femur. Very first feeding of this specimen. Yeah, this is one that almost bit me. Look at that. That thing owned. Holy crap. I'm happy. Very good eater. Just one cricket left. Now the spawn from hell. <laughs> so this is Isabella, my Formictopus concerides, the Haitian brown bird eater. The most evil tarantula that I have in my collection. And also one of my fastest growing terrestrials. Also happens to be the hungriest one. Yeah, here is Jezebel, my other larger concerides. Both of them are female. Huh. This time shouldn't give us two. Yeah, these get a respectable nine inches in leg span. Very huge for a formictopus species. And you can see those fangs. Very large. Alright, now for some pokies. Pocotheria fasciata, the Sri Lankan ornamental. Nice job. Yeah, as you can see, the filio stripe on my fasciata. A lot darker than it is brighter. No epigastric furrows seen, so he's a male. Darn it. You know, this tarantula is now starting to become uh, one of my most sought after teas now. Uh, because I do request a female if I can try to find one. <laughs> it's becoming in my wish list to get one. Hopefully, I'm going to get one this year. But he did a good job.
for a male. Not bad. Here's my lovely Pocotheria formosa, the Salem ornamental. Nice job. You can see she's very pretty colored. Well, it seems my Pocotheria hanumavila simica, Ramashwarm ornamental, is getting the last cricket that I have. Simple as that. Very nice looking pokey. Okay, let's try a lovely P. Miranda, Bengal Spotted Ornamental. Oh, instantly. Yeah, she's getting plump. And I think she's in desperate need of a molt. Since her colors aren't the brightest. But yeah, 5 inch female. Oh, it looks like I got another molt. This time is from my lovely Pocotheria Ornata, the fringed ornamental. You see the molt is over here. So I don't know how fresh she molted. I'm going to wait till uh, I guess Wednesday and f try to feed her. Her abdomen looks fairly plump, so uh, that's a good sign. Wow. Let's look at the colors on it. Definitely at least a good seven and a half, eight inches. All right, next one. Another tea that's becoming a hot list of my wanted teas is a P. Petersoni. This is another male that I've gotten. Yeah, there we go. It's like my fourth Petersoni in a row that ends up being male. I just have bad luck with these. <laughs> But he did all right. Okay, so my big Rufalata went in front of the camera. I believe she is in pre-molt. She hasn't been taking any food recently. So I think it's about time that she probably molted. It's been about over a year. Now we're going to try a Pocotheria smithy, the yellow-backed ornamental. There we go. Not too bad, so should be some light on the yellow backed ornamental. Pretty rare pokey here. Here is a Peace Triada penultimate male, my sort ornamental. Now I know definitely he's going to mature out next molt. Yeah, he just grabbed it. Looks to be a good respectable size. Does look pretty big though. Hmm. Here's a Pocotheria tigrina wesseli, the Wessel Tiger Ornamental. There we go. Had to give her a little hand. This one's starting to web a lot now. This is my 7 plus inch mature female Samopoist Cambridge Eye, Trinidad Chevron. Just love how she instantly grabs the super worm. And this is what the colors look like up close. Camera's not picking up well, but there is certainly a moss green color all over their body. And they have little red toes. Definitely the greenest species in the hobby. And definitely one of the largest Samopoas. 
Okay, now let's try my Arminia. The two of them. Mature female Sumopos Arminia, the Venezuelan Sun Tiger. I'm going to power feed this female, so that way she doesn't eat my male. Oh, look at that. See, if I put that male in there, it would not be too good for her. I mean, for him. And a shout out to Cruel Dead 3. Uh, he wanted me to breed these species and he wanted me to inform you that he has a lot of channel, that he's making a channel on uh, reptiles and he's starting to get into inverts. And basically he wants uh, some of the Irminias if I do breed them. Here's a Pseudohoplopus species long-haired, formerly known as Cyclosternum schmardae, the yellow banded bird eater. So this is a three inch male named Larry. Not bad, he's certainly a lot better eater than he was a couple of years ago. I say he's a pretty darn good looking for a male. Well everyone, I know my feeding video is lackluster because I'm not featuring as many teas as I usually would like to just because of my shortage of crickets, but here we go. Look at that, my OBT is fully out in the open. It's a massive female, it's like five inches now. Incredibly fat. I can get it. Oh, I can hear it hiss too. There we go, look at Carmella. Yeah, she's in desperate need of a molt. Sweet. Very happy I got this on film. Show you how big she is. Right, this is Tapgigas female, orange tree spider. Uh, this is the first time I ever offer her a super. So let's go see if she's going to accept it. Oh yeah, she did. Hey, hey. Not too bad at all. Let's see what he will do. Oh, nice. I miss, my, I miss the tappies, how they eat. I used to have a nice large gigas. Unfortunately, she passed away. But yeah, they're very hungry eaters. Especially one of the more faster and defensive arboreals. Especially the New World. A lot more scary to own than a Soma Poster Minion, that's for sure. Okay, here she is. She's a lot bigger than she used to be. Let's see, she's going to get the super. And I do want to show you the colors on this specimen to show you how beautiful Sancti Vincenti we are. It's such a shame that you don't really see very much pictures on, you know, like Google and Arachnoboard's forum, but you can really see it's kind of looking like an Aversi color. Well, maybe not as much. But yeah, she's got like a bluish purple abdomen with red hairs and also some green going on all over their body. Really an impressive looking Tapnikinius. Here's a Theraphosa Sturmy Burgundy Goliath Bird Eater, Gretel, which is my largest tea that I have so far. 
I think she got it. She's a crazy eater. Yeah, it looks like she only got one of them. And just look at her abdomen, how oh, plump it is, and I don't even feed these guys mice. Well, let's see what Gretel's doing, what's she up to now. Yeah, look at her, she's trying to find the other one. <laughs> she's a pig. But I can't wait for her to molt. She's going to look so pretty. Last but certainly not least, at least for uh, part one of feeding video 101, is my Zenitha Zimanis, the Colombian Lesser Black Genesis, who is a three inch male. I've had this guy ever since he was a an inch and a half spiderling. As you can see, a very good eater. And I just keep him on moist substrate and he's doing extremely well. Yeah, and these like having to raise their abdomens up in the air. <laughs> like they have some attitude or something. Sweet. Well, unfortunately this uh, concludes the feeding video. I am so sorry that I wasn't able to feature the ones that I wanted to. Namely some of the other things that I didn't have a chance to feed because of my shortage of crickets. But rest assured I'm getting some on Wednesday. And I'm not going to erase this so I don't forget. These are the ones that I'll feature. The ones that freshly molted. As well as the Piranata, the Viridaceous uh, Fishing Spider. We'll give you an update on both of those uh, babies that I've raised last year. See how they're doing. P. Muticus, King Baboon, S. Hoffmani, the central horned that molted. These two new additions, the P. Pilker and Reduncus, my two Camberdry, and my two Thrixopalma. Alright, let's go get Maggie. Hey, Maggie. Sit. Paw. Give me a paw. No, no, no. Sit. Sit. Paw. Other paw. Roll over. Roll over. Come on. There we go. Dance. Stick out your tongue, Maggie. High five. Here we go. Such a cute dog. She's a eight-year-old female chitsu. And she's going to be nine this May. And of course, I have to reward my guinea pigs for being such good girls. So I have here romaine lettuce. You should never feed your guinea pig iceberg lettuce. It's not good for them. Here we go. Look how they eat lettuce. It's like a paper shredder. to clean their cage tomorrow. All they do is eat. But they're cute. They're much more cuddlier. Hey, you like me? You ate it. Good job, girl. Good job, Leah. Yeah. She's so adorable. I mean, her face. Look at her face. And it's funny, if you notice her ears, she's got a black one and a white one. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh. No, 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 no. You had yours. Come on, Haley, finish it up. No. So curious, both of you. Both of you are so curious. Mm. I don't have any more. <laughs> Just so cute. Both of them are. Uh, so happy I bought these guinea pigs.
Play it nice. Alright everyone, so this is, concludes part one of my feeding video. Hope everyone enjoyed it. And Wednesday when I get all those uh, crickets and more super worms, I'm going to go ahead and feed those tarantulas I listed. Definitely are going to record all of them. So it shouldn't be that much of a problem editing the whole thing. Alright, so enjoy everyone and thanks for watching.